and Patty Ellsbury with acrylic art paintings. Our friend Yvette from Colombia suggested the use of food coloring in um, to create art. So this video is for you, Yvette. Let's go. First of all, I'd like to share with you that the only ingredients that I'm using for this painting in the formula are glue, water, silicone, and food coloring. I'm starting with the yellow in a straight line to represent a streak of light. And then I'm gonna start building from there. I'm now gonna use my palette knife to spread the paint, or the color in this case, in both sides to start creating the illusion of disseminating the light. And uh, I do that in both sides. Once I'm happy with my stream of light, quote unquote, I'm going to proceed to add the red on the sides. I know a lot of people do the sky first and they do black in the background and the blue, but I decided to start with the nebula itself first and then uh, start building from there. So I'm adding a touch of yellow to start creating and start blending the colors in creating uh, tons of red and also orange uh, coming from the light. I know some of you are gonna say, oh, my two-year-old can do that, and I have an answer for you. Please join them, encourage them, you know, spend time with them. You know, yes, it is important to have careers and degrees in life, but also it is important to encourage creativity in our children, you know, to encourage our own creativity. I am now adding a touch of green just to add a little bit of color. You know how nebulous, uh, because of the light, you know, they create different colors in them. And so I'm adding this green in there. So as I was, as I was saying, I am, um, you know, some people have their different hobbies. They go to the gym, they, um, I don't know, they watch soap operas. I paint, okay? And uh, this is my sense zone for me. And I try to share with you guys what I do. So I just keep creating something beautiful. Now I am adding a touch of blue to create depth. Not death, depth, you know, like deep in space. Like the background where this burst of light comes from. So there I go with my palette knife. I am just spreading the colors, the blue, and then I'm gonna go ahead and continue filling the rest of the canvas with blue. Let your mind go free. Explore your favorite colors in different ways. You know, I will never tell you that what I show you here is gallery great art ever. Because I'm not an artist. But you know what? I feel good creating these things. I love color and I love making friends. You know, I would have never experienced anything like this and the beauty of blending these colors without our friends who suggested it, you know? And so it's all about creating, it's all about having fun and beautifying our homes with our creations. I cannot tell you how many people, how many friends have been really happy when they see uh, some of the paintings that I have made for them. We all have different talents and we all use them in different ways. There's some that use art to sell, to make a living. I use my experiments and my findings to make people happy. That's my motto. I wanna give, I wanna put a smile in people's faces, in my, my friends. I wanna let them know that I'm thinking about them 
and I want my children and grandchildren to see also my art in the wall. The idea is to feel good at the end of the day and know that we did something good, that we did something productive. As you can see there, I'm just giving the final touches and then I'm gonna add some stars or so when, um, when I'm off camera. You know me. Okay, and there you go, guys. The glue creates and the silicone create that those white spots that create like um, an effect of a spacey effect in the painting, and I absolutely love it. Thank you, Yvette, for suggesting this, and uh, thank you all for spending this time with me. All right, guys, so this is how it looks as it's dried and it's already varnished, already you can see. So before I added the varnish, I added also a few stars here and there. This darker area that you see here, that's just the leftover red that I had. So red and blue makes purple. And so I just thought that it looks, that it added more um, character and more depth and dimension to the to the painting so if your two-year-old can do this then please come and share it with us in our group okay acrylic art paintings group and till next time keep pouring